Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the Curse Captain Hippo TC here, or as some like to call me, Reapbot C. Reaper? Reapbot? Ah? Uh? Oh, never mind. It's your friendly neighborhood murdering scoundrel here with a complete breakdown of the new PvP-focused trading company called the Reaper's Bones. So for all you bloodthirsty, scurvy ruffians out there, this video is for you. Before I jump into it, though, I wanted to quickly ask you for your support. I would love to do this full-time one day, but that won't be possible without your support. So if you enjoy my content or you find it helpful, please hit that subscribe button. Each sub gets me one step closer to my dreams. Thank you for your support. Now let's jump into today's video. For a long time, we hoped and prayed to the almighty whale lord, the god of the Sea of Thieves, for a bounty system of sorts. Well, we didn't quite get that, but what we did get is a brand new trading company called the Reaper's Bones, whose purpose is to steal from and sink other pirates. So let's talk specifically about this new PvP-focused trading company. For an in-depth breakdown on how the new emissary system works as a whole, check out my other video by clicking the link in the description. With the new Sea of Thieves update Ships of Fortune, we finally get to see the completion of the Reaper's Hideout in all of its glory. I mean, just look at this place. It is beautiful in a terrifying kind of way. It's also completely stocked up and ready for fighting with cannons and ammo boxes throughout the hideout. This will allow your crew to defend your position against anyone who may be trying to turn in their treasure. As I always say, shoot first and ask questions later. And in this case, I would say, take what you can and give nothing back. Now enough about the Reaper's hideout. Let's talk about this new trading company, Reaper's Bones, and how you gain reputation with them. Unlike in the past where only certain things can be turned in, that has all changed. They now want any and all loot, especially if it was stolen. Chests, skulls, cargo, they don't give up how you get it. In addition to turning in loot, sinking ships and murdering other pirates will also earn you emissary grade progression. However, these returns diminish on repeat kills of the same player. In other words, spawn camping won't get you anywhere. So make sure to finish off your enemies quickly and move on. Oh, and you should be aware that every time another trading company emissary defeats a reaper, they will be rewarded with emissary grade progression. So don't let them make you look like a fool by reaping what you tried to sow. The best part about this new trading company, I mean, other than all that murder, is they don't offer any voyages, which means they are leaving it up to you to decide how you want to contribute to the company. The worst part? The only place you can turn in is at the hideout, which means this will become a glorious PvP area on the map that will be frequented by other pirates that want your flag and your treasure. Wait a minute, PvP area? That actually sounds awesome. As with all the other companies, gaining grades as a reaper will be shown on your HUD and will be displayed for all to see on the flag at the back of your ship. Reputation progress will appear on the reputation tab along with the reputation of other companies. In this tab, we also see a new set of commendations to challenge the most ruthless pirates with um, acquiring a range of loot. This will gain you notoriety within the company and being promoted will of course earn pirates a new range of titles and access to the beautiful new Reaper's ship cosmetics. You will also get access to a new bad looking costume that will be sure to strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. This new trading company is a dream come true in so many ways. It gives us bloodthirsty pirates something to work towards and achieve. It also will give us an excuse for all of our murdering and thievery. As the tenants of the Reaper's Bones state, there is no honor among thieves, only prizes for the taking. I do want to quickly mention though that this doesn't mean you are justified for being a toxic hole. So have some pirate class while doing your thieving and don't be toxic about it. The game is called Sea of Thieves, not Sea of Holes. What are you most looking forward to in this new update? Make sure to let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching, you scurvy dogs.